Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and it is the complete tutorial series on how to create individual parts of radial engine assembly. So in this particular tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a piston in Cardia V5. To make a piston, we are going to refer this particular figure over here. The link is also provided in the description below for this figure so that you can refer it for further dimensioning. Now I will start with the sketching of the piston. So quickly go to part design workbench, name the part as piston and ok I'll start with the YZ plane so select the YZ plane over here and go to sketch so I'll quickly start with the basic profile of piston and the dimensioning I can do later so start with the basic profile of piston from this point So now I need to create a three point arc from this particular point up to the vertical axis make the center coincide with the vertical axis and the radius of arc would be 189 mm this is the required figure now we will start with the dimension this particular length is 4 mm so all length become 4 now this particular length is 2 mm and distance of distance of this line from the horizontal axis distance of this line from the horizontal axis is 7 mm now we will give dimension to all these vertical lines for all four edges this distance is 3 mm the same for all so let's quickly give dimensions to all lines now these vertical lines is of length 2 mm so make all lines of 2 mm so we are done with the dimensions of ridges now this particular line is at the distance of 45 from the horizontal and this line is at a distance of 46.5 from the vertical axis actually it is 85 plus 8 that is 93 divide by 2 which is the outermost width of the piston so make it 46.5 now we need to create one more profile here and it is always recommended to avoid any any automatic constraint which you can see here so avoid this
now the distance of this line from the horizontal axis is 62 and uh, its distance from the vertical axis is 74 divided by 2 that is 37 so yes here we are complete with the complete constraint figure as you can see here so quickly exit from the sketch select a shaft command over here select select the z axis as the rotation axis and click ok so here we are complete with the basic piston profile now we just need to make holes and some more profiles inside to make a hole select this particular plane over here and go to sketch what we'll do we will project this line so select this line and make it a construction line now draw one circle along the vertical axis give it a dimension of 36 mm diameter and make this center at the distance of 27 from the bottom projected part so, oh yes here we now quickly exit from this sketch and select a pocket command and give give any arbitrary depth so that it will cover complete width of the piston let's give it a 30 each side and make it mirror it is still not making it so increase the depth make it 40 or rather make it 50 yes now it is making completely so click ok now what we need to do we need to create one plane offset to this plane that is zx plane so go to plane definition and give a offset of 25 mm so select this particular plane and go to sketch now we will project this circle over here and we will draw one more circle which is concentric to projected circle let's give it a diameter of 22 mm now exit from this sketch select a pad command over here and give it a pad of 17.5 mm length and now we need to mirror our profile to get it same on the other side so select the profile select the mirror command over here object to mirror would be xz plane and click ok so yes here we are you can see complete with the piston profile so this is it for this particular tutorial uh, i'll cover further parts in my next tutorial in case of any query clarification or doubt please feel free to comment below you can also write to me at abhishek.a32 at the rate of gmail.com and if you if you like my video please subscribe me so that i'll be encouraged to get more and more videos for you so till then thank you very much stay tuned